Today is our six and seven of Rich's in journey to become a fully qualified driving instructor. So Rich, uh, let's start off with a little recap based on where we left off last lesson. Um, I think we were doing some um, where I was in this seat and just telling you to turn, just doing some instructing and stuff, some instructions and okay. Um, and then I was trying to spot, see any anything that you missed. So I think we were you were not checking the mirrors and things like that. And, that's what I was spotting. Okay, I'm driving when it's safe. Okay, cheers. first like something yeah. you've probably not done before but I was gonna not check that and okay. I thought he's not gonna see it so make sure you you, you keep looking for that at this yeah. point yeah okay turn right at the end okay right, we'll turn right at the end of the road Yeah. So that's your eyes, and then you're moving on to your hands once you're 
satisfied that you've checked it. Yeah. Hands, yeah. And feet. Yeah. Yeah. So I use check it. So you're looking for my centre mirror and my right mirror. Yeah. And it must come before this, really. Okay. Just in case you need to Cause stop. Well, yeah. And also, if something's followed me in and cut the corner, it'll already be on the right side. So if then I steer out. Yeah. I'm going to steer into them. So that's crucial. And again, what am I checking here, Rich? Centre yeah. and right. Or just centre on this one. Yeah. So sometimes it'll just be centre. Okay, Rich. So does that sort of give you a bit more to go with? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, instruction, looking at you while I'm saying it, um, and then once you've checked it and I've seen you check it, I'll move on to your hands. Yep. And then feet. That's it. We'll turn left at the end. And take the next road on the left, please. I couldn't not do it, I knew you were looking at me. <laughs> <laughs> Son on the bike, yeah. yeah. Now, we just needed to clarify that they weren't coming straight on, and that they they you give me a left signal, didn't it? Say that they weren't going to cross yeah. the road, and that you will need to look for longer for those things. However, you're not just checking that was still recording. <laughs> I just you just you need to, um, <clears throat> you're not past the giveaways at that point. Right. So you'll always pause at the lines and hopefully you'll take in all the information just before or at the lines, but then as long as you keep looking both ways, that's that's fine really. Okay. Yeah. Yeah? Because you said it was a fault because of what? Because when you were turning round to the left, yeah. you were kind of still staring that way. Mm-hmm. But then you kind of glance back to the to the left. Yeah. Was that? Yeah. So basically, I weren't moving out blindly. Um, I kept monitoring it. Yeah. And that's why it was safe for me to be rolling forwards while I was just double checking on them. Yeah. Because it weren't at a stop line, and I had reasonable visibility. So you're coming out of there then. Um, you're making sure that's clear. Obviously, there was them two people on the bike. Mm -hmm. Now, when you look to the left, the road you're going into, yeah. as you go over the, the giveaway lines, because you've got to obviously make sure that nothing's come out of the driveway and things like that. Is, it, is that right? Is that? Yeah. Uh, let's have a look. Yeah. Let's have another go around and let's have a look at the observations at junctions, right? Yeah? Yeah. And I'll, I'll talk you, I'll give you a commentary. I'll give you a commentary as to what I'm doing because it will help you to understand your own observations and uh, that's what this basically is. Yeah, yeah. So I'm checking my centre and right mirror for getting moving. Turning left, centre left, signal back into my own side, centre of the lane. Easing off the gas covering brake and clutch, having a look, last look forward and in and round over the wall. 
work on my centre mirror, nothing's following me in, and the right mirror, nothing's going to be able to take, so it's safe to move out. Yeah. I turn left here. Let's have a look. So all about the observation. So I'm starting to look now. Now the actual roads aren't enough. Yeah. Back to the left. Back to the left. Back to the right. No, I'm about a third of a car from the line there. Okay. Back to the right. Back to the left. Back to the right. Back to the left. Go. So you're having a good two looks either side before. A minimum of. Yeah. A minimum of because we could miss things like bikers in plain clothing who could bend in with a blend in with the background, for yeah. example. Yeah. Um, yeah, let's have a look at this left, so, uh, here we go, this will be more in real time, so keep looking at what I'm doing and what I'm looking at, if you like, right to the right, through that gap, left, right, left, last look right, last look left, yeah. so that was that was three each side, weren't it? Yeah, yeah. But that was because I had to be a little bit slower, it took a little bit longer to... And you had them parked cars to look around and through Exactly what I was going to say. Yeah. Yeah. Let's have a look at this one again. Slightly more closed to the left. Yep. Turning left. You'll see this window here gives me all the observation time to the odds. And that's enough really. Because it was very clear to the uh, to the right there. Yeah. And the left you're kind of looking as you're going because it's quite blind because of the hedge. But yeah. So what's your thoughts on that now, Rich? Yeah, that's a bit clearer. Um, that's, that's fine, yeah. There's no yeah. set way to do it. It's just... A lot of it's best practice, you know? Yeah, it's just making sure you're getting your your technique across, isn't it? You know, and making sure that whoever's sat in the driver's seat and you're here is doing, making sure it's all safe. Exactly. You look when they look, so yeah. you see what they see. Do you, uh, I should have recapped that with you. Did we do that last week? You look when they look. Yes, I think so, yeah. Because it's like, I'm obviously looking what you're doing at the junction, looking at your feet and stuff. I've also got to look what they're looking at, like what's coming, if yeah. it's clear. Because if they begin to pull out, I've obviously got to take action as well. You've always got to be, yeah, two, I say three steps ahead of them. Yeah. Yeah, so bear that in mind with me <coughs> in a minute. Yeah. I'll try and give you instructions a little bit earlier than I have been. Um, and yeah, look out for as soon as you see a fault, let me know. Okay. Yeah. Drive on when you're ready. And uh, drive on when it's safe to do so. Some substance behind it, I'll probably remember it next time. Yeah, okay. I'm going to turn 
left at the end. And take the next road on the left. So you've you've educated me a bit there. You need to then decide on a plan of action. Okay, so and um, it's a brand new fault, really. Right. Okay. So I could suggest, obviously, prompting you to to, put, to obviously not putting the clutch down and coming off the clutch as you go up to the junction. Or I'll just be checking for that on the next one, and then you wouldn't leave them to it. Say it. You would take probably if it was new and it just yeah. came in, you'd say, Right, I'm gonna remind you about that on the next one. Is that okay? Right, okay. And they're gonna say yes, really. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna remind you on the next one. Yeah, then. okay. So you can feel it as well, can't you? Yeah. So I can if feel. they do it there, they might they'll probably do it when they're turning turning in as well, yeah. Yeah. Turn left at the end. And take the next left at the end, please. Right, so you've got to be really hot there on stopping that from happening. Right, you just okay. stop it from happening. Yeah. Don't even let. Imagine a dog on a lead. Yeah, yeah. Keep that dog under control, or else the speed's going to get fast. Uh, or you're going to speed up, and then this bit here is going to become very so dangerous. What would I say? Would I say off the clutch, or would I say? Let me give you an example. Okay. So at the end of this road, Matt, turn left, please. So I'm doing dual role play, I'll just talk to myself. Yeah, yeah. Now, you see you check your mirror, just get your signal. Now keep that clutch up. Don't put the clutch down, just start braking for now. I think it's for 10 pence. Just slow it down gradually. Keep it up, keep it up, and down. Clutch down now. Gear change. Yeah. Okay, so I'm literally, I'm not waiting for you You're to make the mistake again and then I'm reacting afterwards. Because it'll keep happening. Yeah, I'm saying to you how to do it. Yeah, I've got you, get what you're saying, yeah. Yeah, yeah. because um, you've already established that it's a, a prop. A, a pro Sometimes people that make a genuine mistake, but you can gauge that through the person and how much time you've spent with them. Right. And the feedback that they give on the initial um, identification of it. Yeah. So try that on this one, turn left at the end. Okay, so turn left at the end. Clutch up, clutch up, clutch up slightly on the brake. Didn't realise I'm doing it. Clutch down. It already is down, it's been down for the last... <laughs> it's been down no, for the last know, 20 you minutes. Know what happened there, my mind went blank as soon as... We, yeah, my mind went blank <laughs> it's there. It's all right, it's all right, it's all right. Now, it, it, it's not easy, this at first. Like I say, this part two, gonna get you to be able to basically, um, emerging in the part three, drive the car with your mouth, therefore, and that's why the commentary is so important. Yeah, yeah. You know, the commentary that we yeah. said to bring in. Uh, have you been? I didn't ask you this this session. Have you been practicing it? I've, the commentary. I've been what with myself. Yeah, just commentating um, on what you're doing, when you're doing it, why you're doing it, what the consequence could be if you get it wrong. No, I've not been doing that. No. All right, no worries. But 
that's something to really tap into. Yeah. Um, if you watch, you know those videos you watched. Uh, for those watching, there's nothing behind, which is why we still sat here. <laughs> uh, but remember those videos you watched, MSPSL. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the system for learner drivers and PDIs, and also the other one, mirror signal maneuver. Which one might when? There's commentary on those. Yeah. Which you could kind of use. Uh, there'll also be commentary on driving driver driving instructor TV as well. Okay. Yeah. Right, okay. find with learners is they put the clutch down really slowly yeah so we encourage them to be straight down straight down now missing because the, the first gear will be delayed and it might not be fully down they're trying to select first and wondering why it won't go in yeah you know because they're not really on the floor which is crucial why you get them set up correctly at the very beginning when you first meet them okay anyway so now rich how are you going to know that i've not looked to the right and i'm about to go um because i've been looking at you yeah, and what haven't you I not done? turn your head? Okay, so you've got to you've got to take action there. Really, you can let it happen if you're absolutely sure that it's clear, and then pull them over. That's a, a serious thing, that. Right. So you, uh, if it were me, I'm, I'd make a point of it here because it makes them think of what could be. Okay. I'd say stop, and if I have chance, I'd, I'd press the brake. If there's something behind that could change that, uh, and just tell them what they've done. Okay. And just say, and just just to reinforce, you know, say why. Anyway, so would you take over there on the controls? No, no need to. Only to stop the car. Right. Um, and if it's clear, because you know it's clear, you can just let them pull out. Right. Okay. Because nothing's actually happened. Yeah. But if that continues to happen, you can bet your life that something serious will develop. Yeah. Yeah. You know, so you've got to nip that in the bud because that's a that's a dangerous accident might happen, isn't it? Okay. All right. Um, so we're going to turn right at the end. And turn right at the end. Clutch up, clutch up, slightly on the brake, that thing, yeah. it's a 10 pes yeah. piece, yeah. down, 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 and clutch all the way down. Mm -hmm. So you're watching eyes, hands, you see, have you missed anything with the hands? You've not put it in first. See how many things can go wrong, and all, yeah. all the faults could lead into other faults. Because I'm thinking about that, it's like so you've got to gauge each learner, um, each to their own, really. So you didn't put it in first, there, did you? When you that's it, okay. So then, I need educating as to why I need to remember. So you've just identified that, yeah. I need educating as to why I need to remember it in the first place because it's alright isn't it? I mean my dad moves off in second. Um so what would I I would explain that obviously pulling off in second in second you Jump. need a lot more revs, um potentially could damage the gearbox. Mm -hmm. Um and also you're not really got full control of the car when you pull it off. Would you say? Okay, this is what I'd say. Now, if you read the essential skills, <clears throat> the advice is in snow and ice to move off in second. Also to move off in second to do a downhill rolling start. Yeah. Okay. Why do you need to move off in snow and ice in second? Um, you need to get the, um, the engine speed high. Sorry. No, you need to get the engine speed. Yeah, the engine speed high, and it gives you more traction. You get more grip. You kind of, well, there's not as much torque in the higher gear yeah 
so it's not as likely so not to spin. spin and dig yeah yeah downhill well we've got momentum so we can roll into that yeah so you're going to pick up speed when you're rolling down the hill enough to mm -hmm. obviously start off in second because potentially if you i suppose if you start start off in first going downhill you're going to need to change gear more or less exactly so it's not really eco driving or understanding the, the car yeah. by doing that so it's wrong to, so it'd be wrong to turn around to somebody and say oh uh, we could damage the gearbox or you know anything like that but if you stall it's probably not going to do much good and the trouble is a lot of these roads as you come into them are slightly uphill so if you stall you could just potentially roll backwards you could roll backwards if there's a car behind you could keep the back yeah you or you could look you could do what what's sometimes called a full start where yeah your will move out a bit like I did but then all of a sudden <clears throat> we'll stop yeah, the yeah. Car, what about if a car behind followed me out and they're still staring which you'll see a lot of drivers do now that you're thinking about it, staring right anything coming anything coming smash yeah oh, I thought you'd gone yeah yeah didn't know you yeah you know because it looked like you'd gone and it, that happens a lot at roundabouts I've seen that yeah because everybody's looking the wrong way not looking in the direction of travel at that point <clears throat> Um, so yeah, I just say, look, you need to remember first gear because you're at a, a you're at stationary, and we need first gear to help the car move off efficiently without stalling. Look, the stall isn't the problem; it's where you stall and what how that could increase the risk. So we're lumbered there in the middle of the road, and then the more so with an inexperienced driver. It, like I got, I turned the key and got started, but. Mm. It's going to confuse them as to why they even stalled. And then they'll probably stall it again because they're panicking a bit as well. Exactly. Yeah. So depending on uh, how how they respond to that and their level, you might need to say, okay, or not even tell them. Just go clutch down, start the engine, just say, I'm taking control now, just bring your feet off the pedal, ask them to steer for you, or if they can't, you steer for them and tell them that you're going to steer and steer you steer yourself and move yourself move to yourself safety. Around, yeah. You can't afford for that to be happening on roundabouts, for example. Yeah. Do you see what I mean? Yeah, and sometimes yeah. you'll get to uphill junctions, roundabout, and they'll be in second. You think, if I don't take control here, I know what's going to happen to us. Yeah. Or what could happen to us. Central. It'll yeah. destroy their confidence. And so, yeah, just educate them as to why. And um, and then what I would say is, I'm going to remind you on the next one. Okay. I'll give you some reminders. And when you give a few reminders, what then will you do instead of telling? Um, do a demonstration show. If well, they're still doing it, you mean? Yeah, what I would do is I'd move to asking them, so what gear do you need to select at this junction right. when you're near the lines? So they're thinking, right, what we need to do here. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. So you've told them because they didn't know and they couldn't remember. But once you've started in filling in that gap... There's a lot to do, isn't there, in a short space of time to squeeze in. Mm. Like, you're at the end of a junction, you've got to make sure tell them that you've got to explain everything mm -hmm. in that time for them to obviously then they need to pull off yeah 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 exactly would you like me to commit some faults and do almost like a dual role play where I sort my own faults out yeah I'll just do that for a couple yeah okay and uh, they'll just give you an idea as to how I would go through that process and sort it yeah? Okay. So, drive on when you're ready, Matt. Drive on when it's safe. So, I'm contradicting myself already. Oh, I wondered why she was looking at me, just. It's. I used to live near her. Oh, right. I used to live a couple of doors away. <laughs> what was she staring at the car for? She must have lost about five stone or so. <laughs> I'm still buying the TV mag every week. What's on TV? Well, they went out with the Ark. So you got your cries on your TVs now, haven't you? Turn next road on the right, Matt. Just pop that signal on. So I'd have said that a bit sooner. Right? Yeah. So pop the signal on. And, okay, Matt, did you, was you aware that you didn't signal? Oh, no, I completely forgot, actually. Okay, um, so why is it important that you need to signal? It's a fairly easy one, that one, isn't it? 
yeah, if yeah. they don't know, if they don't come straight away with the answer or something, just fill it for them. Right. You know, so the reason that we need to give a signal is so that as we approach the junction, whoever is coming from the other way or behind us or from in front, yeah. straight away know what our intentions are and can start to make plans earlier, whether it be adjusting their positioning, speed, and you know, the end result is the road staying staying safer really. Yeah. If everybody yeah. knows what everybody's doing. Yeah. So Matt, would you like me, so Matt, what I'll do then is I will um, remind you on the next one to um, to give the signal. Is that okay with you? Yeah, that's fine. So we're gonna turn right at the end of the road, Matt. Don't forget to give the signal. Remember, we're gonna give it at about six car lengths. So if you start with your mirrors and signal, when you're saying that, they'll forget to start the other processes because yeah. they're thinking about they're what you're thinking saying. Thinking about what, yeah. yeah. So I can't, not really, you just told me to do it. And now this will happen. We steer around stuff and then it cancels. Yeah, so you have to re... Can you still hear that tick tocking? No. Pop your so you say, just pop your signal That's it. On. So just pop that signal back on. Do you see how that's important, look? Yeah. Because that car's just appeared. So I'll give real life examples if, it, if it's possible. That's always a good one to consolidate stuff. So I'll go through it quickly. It might take more, it might take more um, telling before you ask, but on the next one I'm gonna ask myself. Okay. So what do you need to do on the approach? What do you need to remember on this one so that everybody knows where you're going? Okay. Turn left at the end of the road, Matt. Okay. So I'm checking my mirrors. So what do you need to do on this one so everybody knows where you're going? Well, uh, I'll give that, that left signal after. Mirrors. Mirror check. And there we go. So you give a few more reminders, and then you can say, "Well, you look like you know what you're doing there." But do you, do you, are you confident? Are you happy with the, that you can remember to check those? If the answer is yes, still don't let it drop. Don't don't forget it. Yeah. Expect them to forget it, but if they don't, bonus. Okay. Expecting me to turn in with no signal, <laughs> and I would do that. Every driver I see, <laughs> you don't see that very often, do you? People no. cross, they get halfway across the road, and then they'll check over their shoulder. <laughs> okay, so do you understand there the kind of processes that goes into? Yeah. So basic. I'll, I'll pull in. I'll, I'll turn left and I'll pull in. Yeah. And we'll do a little recap. I feel like if we keep going, we could get lost in this a little bit. It's just, I'm not, of course, it can't just be perfect straight away. So, Rich, how do you feel about what we've just been over? Yeah, I think um, <clears throat> obviously it's just going to take practice, isn't it, to, to cement it in. Yeah. You know, I mean, I can't expect it to, like, straight away. Absolutely um, not. It's not an easy process, this. No. No. Well, I think I was actually doing it in my free pre-practice mm -hmm. and then I'll yeah definitely definitely be on that next the more, the more and more I do I mean yeah like we'll move it on a little bit now okay because what you can also do is watch my videos and see how I once when things come up see how I sort of go about fixing those faults with people yeah Sometimes you'll you'll try one thing, you'll try another, you'll try another, and it becomes apparent that you need to strip it down and concentrate on that one thing. Oh, yeah. And it might be that you need to take somebody out of a busy environment. 
in order for them to process and take it in. Okay, so would you mean like to kind of, do you mean pull them to one side kind of thing? Well, I, I've been on the phone today with somebody, for example, who was telling me that, who was telling me that they've had two instructors and they both recommended that this person try automatic. And I said, I said, it's their job to find a way to help you to understand the gears. He said, it, I nearly had a crash in, he, he nearly had a, a he, he nearly caused an accident because he was looking at the gear stick. I said, well, that's an issue then with the gear stick and your relationship with it and your understanding with it and how you perceive what you need to do with it. I said, I would strip it down, take, you know, often people are still get, getting their heads around, you could call them beginner skills they are they have to be yeah yeah but but instructors have got them in busy scenarios but that's a recipe for a, a serious accident that is yeah because they're thinking so much about what's inside the car and if they struggle with anything inside the car and they've got a busy environment around them so you take them to a nice quiet spot like this exactly yeah yeah and this is where you would work through those things where it's nice and quiet there's not many cars around yeah. Limited, uh, reduced risk. Exactly. So I'm not worried about, you know, all them cars behind me now tailgating me because I'm not because I'm doing 28 in the 30 or whatever it is. Yeah. Um, not that you should do that, but obviously you know got to, got to give give learners a bit of slack and you know they're not going to be as efficient and as thorough as they they could be. So anyway, everything okay with that yeah, so far, yeah, yeah? Yeah. What was the main things you've learned from that? Um, so obviously, being more observant. Yeah. Looking out for um, the faults and, and I think sometimes it's just the wording coming across. Yeah. Making it clear and, and you know, like, like you explained it, clutch down, uh, off the clutch, sorry. 10 pence piece, a um, bit more, a bit more, a bit more, and then obviously clutch down. Mm -hmm. And I need to say, obviously, into first because obviously that was the second gear, wasn't it? When we yeah. pulled out and you stored and stuff. Um, so I think it's just, I think it's just going to take a bit of practice. Yeah. I'm going to grab your workbook. Just again to confirm, I want you to use this as much as you can. Um, here is some advice on commentary. I want you to really develop your commentary skills. There's lots of good videos on YouTube as well on commentary yeah. that aren't specifically learner driver related, but it's good stuff, you know. There's some good stuff on there. Uh, so there's some stuff here to help you develop your commentary. And also, here you go. Some terminology for you. All right. Yeah. Um, well, the, uh, just to let you know as well, I've not actually given given you them yet. But two other books for you. We won't be using them just yet. Uh, we've got the um, visual learning scenarios. Okay. So that's a book with all the different, um, you know, left turns, right turns, crossroads, roundabouts. Yeah. Travel lights, so that's for you to take back. Okay. And also, this is your part three workbook. Again, won't be using it yet, but we're we'll in conjunction with the 17 criteria that you need to um, satisfy for part three. And there's lots of filling out to do, but lots of main thing it does is it encourages you to reflect on what we've done, on what we've yeah. done. Yeah. Uh, how did it go? Could it have been different? If so, how? Do you know how? Uh, can you execute the how, or do you need help with that? You know, and then it'll it'll bring you to where you need to be, basically. All right. Now, next part of the session is just fault identifying faults. Okay. I'm going to commit three faults and then stop. Right. I'm going to pull in and we're going to discuss them. I'm not going to commit loads because I'm not going to remember what I've done, and you're not going to remember either. Yeah. But when you notice a fault. Just put a little mark in whatever box you think. So there's your MSPSL yeah. down to here. And also then we've got secondary ones. We've got gears, steering, 
maneuvers because you might think some things are faults they not might not be faults or vice versa okay you might just want to put a little initial or a little mark to help you remember what it was right but try and leave room because we might yeah I'll put we it might in. need the I'll space put it in this box well that box is put it in but whatever you want to do it really yeah Wh whichever yeah okay all right so remember the system for you to identify these faults so i've got to obviously observe you when i'm giving you the instruction yeah and it's making sure you're checking the mirrors checking your hands and feet mm -hmm. think about what you do and expect the same from me i know yours won't be perfect yet but that's that's exactly what i do when i'm teaching yeah. what would i do what should be done here mm -hmm. oh this feels different this ain't right sometimes it might be different but it might still be okay it might still be correct you know what i mean yeah so just because it's different doesn't mean it's dangerous but it's finding that 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 middle ground with you at this point i guess okay yeah all right i will give you the instructions and I want you to repeat them back to me. Yeah. Drive on when it's safe. Okay, right. drive on when it's safe. by checking your mirror as well before and during the process will know if I should be signaling. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. All right, what you got? Well, I picked up four, but one of them was in kind of the same box because, okay, so there's two mirror checks that missed. Okay, which was the first one? Um, first one was when we got into that, when we first turned left after your we first pulled left off, turn. you didn't check. Yeah. Didn't check mirrors. Why do I need to check the side mirror? Um, check the side mirror for anyone overtaking you. Anyone that could be going around you, or if you're going around a bit, you know, if you're creeping around that corner, to be cautious, and then you could get someone behind you that's a bit impatient to overtake you. Yeah, <coughs> but it was the which one did I miss specifically? Um, you missed the centre one because I thought it was the left one. Oh, on the approach, yeah, okay, yeah, okay. So, you so, um. Yeah, you're making me question it now whether it was, but it, I'm sure it was. Okay. Yeah. That's fair enough. Keep yeah. looking, keep watching. Yeah. What's the next one you've got? Um, well, the next one was was coasting, so I put Good. speed and classes gears. You think? It is really because you're disengaging the gear. Yeah. And speed is a consequence. Which is of why it. you're putting both. Okay. Yeah. Fair enough. Um, no, it's it's so always it been speed. I think it's gears really. Okay. Because yeah, you're disengaging the gear by doing it, which thus re results in a, in a build up of speed. So uh, just gears, just rub that one out from speed. Now, give me some, give me an analysis on why in future I need to keep the clutch up longer and put it down later. Okay, so you need to keep the clutch up because otherwise you're going to be coasting. Um, you build up the more speed. And make it harder to control when you come to actual when you come up to the junction you'll have to slam on your brakes you out of time to put it into the gear you need to be mm -hmm. um, and then potentially you're going to pull out in second 
install it. Yeah, okay. Just to expand on that, just for you, if you kind of pick up speed as you approach, the yeah. car behind will probably think you're going to go. Okay. And then you start to brake, like you said, suddenly, mm. and that's where a problem could come in. Yeah. It, it, even more so than usual. There's a, I like to lay it on thick, give as many reasons as you can. Yeah. Um, because it shows you know what you're talking about, you are saying it for a reason, and you're making it stick, really. Yeah. Giving, giving okay. validation. Good. Uh, so, of course, then the next thing would be how we're going to work through it, but that's not what we're doing. Uh, any other faults? Um, you didn't check the mirror as we went around that bend. So, if anything's coming around where you need to put the brake on, you didn't check if there was anything behind you. As we approach that bend? As we approach the bend, you didn't check your centre mirror. Okay, why do we need to check the centre mirror then? Sorry? Why do we need to check the centre mirror? So, basically, you need, you need to check the centre mirror um, because if there's anything behind you and you need to brake suddenly, you, you, you need to update yourself with the road around you. Um, okay. And if I'm updated then, how, how is that going to help anything? How? Because you could give the slightly like touchy brake and make the person aware that you, you potentially could stop. The person behind you, if he sees your brake lights, he's going to be... All right, so I could give a signal earlier then to yeah. give them more time to react. Yeah. Word again in it. Yeah, yeah. Terminology, yeah? yeah. So that's what I'd say. And you could you could then decide, you could then do a take a different plan of action. You could signal earlier to give them more time to react to your intentions. It could be the difference between an accident or not, depending yeah. on the speed you're going in the time yeah, you're on. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, okay. Word in their intent. Yeah. That's... All right. Yeah. Should we do some more? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, drive on when you're ready. Okay, drive on when it's safe to do so. Still, if your learner still moves off, you've got to, you must always check regardless. Yeah. Never, ever, ever put your trust fully in any other driver or learner driver, let's say. Yeah. Well, I'd go further to say any driver. But, um, yeah, so let's say you are now, you've asked me to move off. Now, there's a couple of things you're feeling for. I tried to roll back, but I couldn't. Okay. Right, right because the road, the road weren't sloppy enough. 
So what? So what you you feeling for? Now you wouldn't be feeling for it here because what would no. Rich do? Richard know it's downhill, wouldn't he? So yeah. So would you need a high bite? Mm, you'd no. need a bite ish to get a, get it going, but you wouldn't need it high, would you? Because no. you're going to go anyway as soon as you release the yeah. the yeah. handbrake. Yeah. But that was a that was slightly uphill. The first road he moved off up <laughs> off from. So I'd go first gear revs. So you're listening for the revs. Can you yep. hear that engine note that you train them to do on lesson one? Yeah. Next thing is you're looking at this and for the slight tug, or also the feel. You can hear, you can feel. Yeah. So really tap into those senses. The bite point, yeah. Yeah. So you're thinking, right, okay, this person's ready. Okay, I know we wouldn't do it here, but just this is just an example. Yeah. yeah. So you're sat there thinking, yeah, this is good. I know they're ready with their feet. Their feet look still. Their heels are on the floor for stability. And um, you're thinking, right, left hand, so you're thinking, right, I'd normally have my left hand on the handbrake, thumb on the button, right hand ready to steer, yeah, mm -hmm. tick, 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 all good, and then you're waiting. Now, remembering the essential skills, it doesn't say you must check left blind spot and left door mirror. I think it's good practice. Yeah. Because if a car's coming out of that driveway over there, yeah. as I'm looking forward and in this, it could be just coming round at the point where I look forwards and release it, and we could both go at the same time. If I look over there, I'll see it developing, I'll see the reverse lights on, I'll see I'm shutting the door, reversing out. See what I mean? Yeah, yeah. All right, anyway, that's just a little side note. Go on, what you can say? No, no, go on. So you're feeling for that, and then you're, you're looking when I look. Right. So, but wait for me to start it, otherwise you will initiate my checks. Yeah. You'll, so you'll remind me, and you want to see where I really am, naturally. So I've got to wait for you to start really just about moving off? No. Or clutch, or handbrake down? So when I'm at this point, yeah. before I release the handbrake, I must check around. I can't release the handbrake, then check around, because that would mean I'll be moving. Yeah. That wouldn't be safe, potentially. So we're going to go left, left shoulder. Yeah. But don't you check yet. And I'm going to go left door mirror, centre mirror. And at this point, okay, let me just rephrase it. As I check the, the left, you check it then. Right. Because you've seen that I've done it on my own accord. Only a quick check though, because you want to be back in time for me checking that. this. Yeah. 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 So, and then move around with me. But, but what behind slightly you? Slightly behind yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And make sure that this check is fresh. If it's not fresh, you freshen it up and update just at the point I go. Alright? So feet are ready, hands are ready. You felt it all. And watch my eyes, make sure I'm prop and so I need to look in there, I need to look down there. Look with me, yeah. And then back forwards, look forwards with me so you know what I see when I see it. So let's do that again. This time you're going to spot something. Okay. All right, so I'm all ready. This time you're going to spot something. What didn't I check? Yes. Center. I just looked straight out there, didn't I? Yeah. I'd have missed that look. Well, yeah, quite a few yeah, things you, to you miss went there. there, there, and you kind of just move your head, missing that, mm -hmm. there and there. What learners will do, they won't read, they'll, they'll sometimes do this bit dead quick and they'll miss what's coming up right in front of them. Yeah. When they'll look mainly in this one. So I did the opposite way, opposite way around, which it can be. Um, so yeah, I hope that helps you. Okay, yeah. Gets you thinking about what you're doing as well. Yeah, yeah. And that's absolutely. what this is about. Yeah. If people start checking and there's that car coming, well, there's no. You could check them ones, but some of the times they'll check all the way around. It's, it's pointless, really. Wait till the car's passed. Do check the forward and this one. Yeah. Wait till it's passed and then do the thorough check, yeah? Otherwise, you'll check twice. So.
faults in that last one there. Yeah. Uh, have you put them down? Yeah. Right, start from the beginning then, tell me what you've got. Didn't check your blind spot when you pulled off. Right, okay. No, we've already talked about that. I know you know why you need to check yeah. your blind spot. Good. The other one was you put your indicator onto the right. Yes. Which is why I laughed. Yeah. yeah. Now, if you aren't watching, all you will see is TikTok. Yeah. Uh, sorry, all you will hear is TikToking. Uh, you can sometimes see the green light on this side of the car, but from where you're sat, you won't see the green arrow on this side of the panel. Yeah, I couldn't see any arrows on either side. Well, so, I didn't know where they are on this one, but yeah. So that's why I use hands is very important. Mm. Good. Uh, and why, go on then, we've not done that one. Why is it important that I'll signal correctly? Um, so you don't want to give other road users the wrong information, basically. Uh, if you signal, say you put the right signal on, you turn left, the car behind you could start, as you start to pull out, start to go on the inside of you yeah. or, as well. Yeah. You know, um, or if you're say you're at a T-junction and you'd put a right turn on then the car coming that way potentially could think you're turning the other way. Mm -hmm. it's, going, it's going to influence decisions Everyone, completely. Yeah. Again, people are going to base their decisions on wrong information Yeah. and when we're in a moving vehicle and we're travelling towards each other that's not a good recipe. Okay, good. And what else we got? Um, I don't think you check your mirror when you pulled into the left here. Good stuff. Why do we need to check that then? Um, you need to check in case you've got some cyclists undertaking you on the yeah. inside. Which mirror did I miss through. exactly, specifically? Yes. I knew what was behind me, but I had no clue whether there was a cyclist already at the side of me. Yeah. If he'd come from behind, I'd have seen him. Yeah. But if, it all, if they were already at the side, no, I wouldn't. I presume Derby's playing then. Um, yeah. Something else that was missing there when I pulled in that would have been useful. There was a guy here on the bike, there was a pedestrian on the right hand side. Indication. Yeah. So was there anybody around? Well, you know, as you look down the road, you're thinking, what would I do now? Would I signal? Anybody around? Yeah. Okay, so you're thinking, right, I'm expecting Matt to do this. Is he going to do it? Ice hands feet. Yeah. Oh, he's missed it. Yeah. Sometimes people will realise and put it on a bit later, fine. Or sometimes something will appear and then it's a and then it's needed to put it on and it wasn't yep. initially. Yeah. Fine. Um, but good, good. That's that's good stuff there, right? Let's do a little another session and a little bit more. And then what we'll do is we will transfer it to the DL25. Okay. So um, then linking it up with the actual test marking sheet and seeing just how that fares on there. And it'll give you more of an idea as to other faults as well. Right. With because you'll then see all the other boxes and it'll it'll make sense rather yeah. than me rather than me giving you that sheet and say, Oh, there's the marking sheet. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. We'll put them in together. Yeah. Right, so Okay. Ready? Drive on. Drive on when it's safe to do so.
there's a good example of what I. <laughs> there's a good example of why not to do what I just did. I hope you spotted it. I think you did. Okay, so um, but you didn't check your mirror. I think you checked your centre mirror on the approach, but you didn't check your left mirror as you pulled in that first junction. I'm pretty sure there was no mirror faults that time, Rich. Um, on that first junction. Hmm. But I know when you did, you took that very wide. Yes, that key. was that was the fault. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that was the fault. Um, a very, very wide. Yeah. If that had been a narrower road, You'd what would have been the consequence? You could have been on the other side of the road. And would we have seen whatever was coming? No. Before we turned? No. Okay. So there's a real so consequence. Position. Yeah. Position is the fault. Did you say position or? It's well. The say? positioning went off as a result of steering timing. I would say. Okay. Um. Yeah. And then so the so the consequences are head-on collision. Yeah. Or if somebody's coming down positioning to turn right, that corner of my car is that going to scrape the side of their car? Yeah. Because they're going to be left of their centre line, aren't they, for turning right? The remedy then is to steer earlier when the curb disappears from the dashboard and position yourself more to the left. No, centre on approach, centre of your lane on approach. Okay. If you go left, it'll give the impression that you're number one pulling over on the left, because you've got a left signal as well, yep. possibly, and it'll also encourage cars to start overtaking around you. Right. Okay. Right, so good good work spotting yep. that. There's another fault you spotted after that, I believe. Um, mirrors? I don't believe so. Right, okay. One of the faults was, now I'd only just checked coming to the new road, hadn't I? Yeah. Okay. That was after though. I cut the corner. Yeah, that as well, yeah. You spotted that, yeah? Yeah, yeah. What's the danger in cutting the corner? Well, uh, oncoming car. <laughs> like that numpty we saw after. <laughs> exactly, yeah. 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 He didn't do it severely, I've seen much worse. Um, but if you, was, if you were a little bit, when that car came, Obviously, cut that corner up. He only cut it up probably about that much. Mm. But if you were probably a couple of seconds, yeah, and a bit front, quicker, then definitely would have. He would have had to taken someone. You both would have probably. Yeah, he'd have had to steer around and, and sw swerve his steering. I'd have had to brake hard. Let's hope there's nobody behind me. Yeah. Um, and also, from his point of view, if he cuts the corner or if I cut the corner, depending on the mouth of the junction, the width and the visibility, I might not have a chance to look down the road before I actually commit to steering in. Yeah. You always yeah. want to have a, enough time to go ahead, into, ahead and into. A minimum of two both sides, really. You know? Yeah, yeah. So that you know what you're committing to. And worst case scenario, you'll hold back in a left of centre line position, a right turn position. If, if, you know, if there's blockages or by going would mean somebody has to reverse, you know? Yeah, things yeah. Things like that. Yeah. Right. Yeah, so that obviously where you turned on the right and you went into the uh, giveaway lines, that was just because you didn't turn, you turned too early. I turned too early? Yeah. So I need, so we've discussed the, we've analysed the dangers there quite in depth. Oh, well, I ain't going to do that again. I'm petrified about that now. <laughs> right. And so we need to make sure it don't happen. We know it's probably going to happen um, because they're new at driving and it's, it's easier to turn and you've got more space and it's, just, it's a bit more comfortable but it's much more dangerous. So the reference point then, we're going to use a lot of reference points in this yeah. industry. The reference point is when the door mirror meets halfway, sorry, when the door mirror, mir be alright if I've got to talk, wouldn't it? If the door, when the door mirror meets the the centre line in the road, in the mouth of the junction. Right. The dividing line that that divides out traffic and in that traffic. Yeah. yeah. Now, when there's a situation where you can't quite understand, where you think they might not know what you mean, 
and you want to make sure they know what you mean, no ifs, no buts, what I will do at this point is I'll grab a pen. I know you know the workbook. And a workbook. So I'll grab my workbook. And it, get, get a visual. So what I'll do at this point is I will go to the right turn page, wherever that is, somewhere around here. Here we go, turning right. Yeah. And in fact, in this book, it already shows it. Look. So you see, when that white, when you look across, it will appear as though that white line is underneath the mirror. Right. It will appear like it is. It won't be. But that's don't turn until those points meet. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So sometimes I'll draw a few lines. Oh, you know, when that line meets with, you know, halfway turning. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's good, yeah. There was a mirror check. Well, I was testing you on a few bits. The, the, the other bit was, you know, when I just turned right out of the last junction? Yeah. I didn't really do the whole MSPSL because I checked the centre and right mirror for the new road Half a second before I was about to start planning for the for the right turn. So, so if I check twice, that's silly. There. You're already updated, aren't you? Yeah. yeah. Do you know what I said to you the other week? Well, you need to use common sense a bit and yeah. not be too robotic with it. And it's important to get that across to your customers as well because they'll they'll that, that I think they'll respect that a bit more than oh I'm just doing this because Dave told me to. Or, yeah. You know what I mean? It's, yeah. Influence proper thinking. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Also, when I moved off from stationary, um, did you notice what I checked? You didn't check here. Yes, where else? Here. Yes, where did I check? There, there. Fantastic. Yeah. So you've improved your eyes, hands, feet a lot, haven't you? Since the so, start. Yeah, I yeah. think so. Sometimes it's a bit. Yeah, I think so. Now, do you remember what I said about what the essential skill says about these two zones of vision? Um, they're not, as, not not really essential. You, not essential. Um, good practice. But it's good practice, yeah. Now, if a fault occurs, and I've not checked those, yeah. but by checking them, I would have spotted it. You could have avoided something. That's worth raising yeah. then. And yeah. it's good, a good reason to say, well, you need to think about checking these because I, I would always check them if it was me normally you know I would check that check around unless if you're on the left and there's a hedge like that use common sense again look it's a, it's a hedge it's not in a pavement there yeah you know um, and I think that's why it says it yeah in, in yeah. the essential skills that way okay so but I just wanted to see if you was going to record it as a fault because it's not really all right any thoughts, any questions before we go any further? Um, so when you're doing about that one just then, that's more good practice, just... A lot of stuff is that will teach general you. general rule of thumb to, to use. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I, I would. Um, yeah. Right, okay, so we'll do one more and then we'll finish off with, not one more fault, <laughs> one more drive with a yep. few faults and then we'll finish off with transferring them to the DL25. Okay. All right? So... Drive on when you're ready. And drive on when it's safe to do so. Which way should I finish looking here? Which side should I start and which side should I finish? Um, start with your right hand side. Yep. Work your way around. Yep. So right mirror, centre mm -hmm. mirror, mm -hmm. left mirror, and then check over your left shoulder. Good. Why is that then, Rich? Because you're pulling into the other side of the road. Off the yep, and you're checking for anyone that's coming down this road, cars. So I want to see that last, don't I? Yeah, because I'm moving into that. Yeah, yeah. So I'm going to take the next road on the right.
Right, Rich, what did you get? Um, so, I think on you, your position, on the road position, was a, you was a bit over the centre line. Was I? <laughs> yeah, I was. A little bit, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, <clears throat> it's obviously road position, and I think at the that junction there, you, you, you didn't brake in well enough time, and probably not hard enough. And what was the end consequence as you, a result of that? You nearly went that? over the... I did slightly. Wise. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I did slightly. Um, when I was trying to become an instructor, I couldn't spot that. And uh, my trainer kept doing that. And uh, yeah, I just couldn't spot it. So, yeah, well done. Now, again, for that, if you're. So, okay, let, let's break it down then. What's the danger in. Just look at the first fault, you've identified it. What's the danger? Let's an analyse it. What's the danger in being too far over the on the centre line or over the centre line. A car coming down the road that's positioned itself. Yep. You could obviously have a collision. That would be increased if they're about to turn right as well, won't it? Yes. Because they'll be positioning towards, towards possibly the towards, line. or turning out from a junction. Yeah. So a lot of cars swing wide. Yeah, if they go out, instead of curving round with a curve, they kind of go in. They do, don't they? A bit like yeah. a, a, bit like a, a U kind of shape, isn't it? Yeah. Um, And so, what about if somebody's overtaking a cyclist or things, something? Even if even if it's not appropriate, it won't stop them from doing it. Always, will it? They're going to be more towards the, the middle. Yeah, yeah. Um, they might not expect you to do that, and then you suddenly position like that. Yeah. Uh, you can end up with your mirror knocked off, or knock somebody else's off. Or there's loads of reasons and yeah, consequences. Yeah. yeah. So you'd 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 figure out a suitable plan of action uh, to not do that. Whether it be you telling them, that you asking them, or showing them if you need to tell them the reference point. Now, the reference point for that, if they need to help, is as you're driving forwards, yep. you'll see the reference point, uh, sorry, the white paint here, bet level with your right hand if you're at a, t if you're at a two o'clock position. Okay. All right, you'll see it there. Now you, you tap into this with your own driving, again, yep. so you know. So that, that can be something that could work. Let's look at the second fault, approaching the junction too fast, not braking in time, braking late, and as a result being slightly over the line. What's the danger, particularly on that occasion? Uh, well, that car that came... I, I tried that. my best to keep it safe. <laughs> it came up doing about 50, to be fair. Yeah. Obviously, you could just side swipe and make the just... Yeah. Yeah. And if there's a cyclist passing, how close are they going to be to the end of the junction? Yeah, they, you could have... Knocked him off. Yeah, and some of them are quite fast, aren't they? In the yeah, yeah, room, yeah. Like 40 mile an hour, I've seen some wonder. Yeah, um, obviously you could have gone straight over your bonnet. Mm -hmm. um, even a, even the mic, a moped. Yeah. Because a lot of them seem to stick to, I've seen stick to the yeah. left hand side. Yeah, I do as well. Um, anything really that's coming up. Yeah. You know. Plus, if it's you could potentially cause the car coming up to slam on the brakes because they think you're pulling out. You know, mm, you, you, yeah, 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 and somebody could go in the back of them. Yeah. Good stuff. Right, so the remedy is brake a little bit earlier, clutch down a little sooner, no coasting though, but just so everything's earlier. Yeah, and a little bit harder. A little bit firmer, a little bit earlier, yeah, yeah. and it's basically be at a, the pace of an old person walking with a Zimmer frame. Okay. It's very slow, isn't it? Mm. Snail's pace. I don't know. Whatever you want to say. There's something that something that makes people think. Right. Slow, but not stopped. Yeah. You can't stop. You won't get to the line, will you? You won't be able to see if you don't get to the line. Also, if somebody's struggling with it, sometimes you might not need the reference point. So don't. You've got to judge it whether you think you need it or not. It's not always necessary. It doesn't work with everybody. But the white line, the white paint for the for the junction, the give way paint should appear underneath the door mirror. Okay. So there's the door mirror, yeah. and the and it'll look like it's sat on the paint. If and there's that, a gap in between, that means that you're over. Right. And if obviously it's not there, you, you're under. Mm -hmm. And it looks the same from your seat, pretty much, as well. Does it? So, okay. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So, have you found all that? Yeah, it's good. It's obviously, yeah. Uh, I think it's helping a lot, yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. It's the stuff you'll be doing day in, day out, the stuff you'll think, oh, this again. <laughs> <laughs> you know, 
But uh, yeah, you need all the tools in your tool bag to be able to do it. And yeah. also, right now, it, you're working on on yourself, aren't you? So yeah, you absolutely. What is and what isn't um, correct, I guess. So the DL25 is behind that sheet, I believe. Now, I haven't been trained as an examiner, as you know. Uh, I've never worked for the DVSA. But I've got experience, I've sat in, I would say about 95% of all the tests that I take out with my learners. Yep. Uh, I've sat in the back of all my part two so far. So uh, I'd like to think I know a little bit, but I may get it in the wrong box. Okay. Not the end of the world if we do. It's more more important that we just reflect on it and uh, get familiar with this as a whole. So if you just bring that here so we can see it on the uh, camera as well. So what faults have we got? Let's grab that one. That one behind it. Cheers. There we go. Right, so we've got mirrors. Yep. How many mirror faults have you got? Um Well, some of them weren't were they? No. Alright, let for argument's sake, let's just say that there was a fault for not checking the mir the mirrors for the new road. Mirror yeah. or mirrors, it depends on what was appropriate. Okay. So, do you see here, we've got each box, and each yeah. box has got a number, and it's got a heading, and then it's got subheadings. So here we've got number 14, use of mirrors. Real, real observations, so that's yeah. into the new road. Um, so would it be, Change of speed, because you're kind of building up speed. Speeding just, up, aren't you? You just turned into the road, and you're about to speed up. Yeah. So you check your mirrors. So would you? So I'm guessing that's mm -hmm. serious. No. No. Only a serious if because of not. No, I mean the S means serious. Oh yes, it yeah, does, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's and what the D I meant. means dangerous. Yeah. So any driving. F so we've got non-worthy faults. I don't want to really get into the point of detail, but there's non-worthy faults. And then there's a driving fault. So you could say, you know, it might be a driving fault. So I would say it's changing speed there, yeah. personally. So if you put a, a dash in that, diagonal dash. Right. Um, other mirror checks. We had door mirrors, didn't we? Yeah, door mirrors. Um, so what do you think door mirrors would be? Door mirrors would be... In the same, in the same box, look, use of mirrors. Uh, Signal ch change direction. Yeah, because that's what we need to do before we change yeah. direction. Right. What about if I checked the mirror? If I signalled first, then checked the mirror. That would probably be a signal. There you go. Yeah. See how we're differentiating them. Yeah. Right. Now let's get on to the next box. What's the next one you've got? Signals. Oh, sorry, uh, signal, yeah, so when you put the right indicator on when you're turning left. Okay. So that will be correctly. Well done. Yeah. Good stuff. Okay. What else have we got? Um, speed. Speed. And what was the speed? What was that fault? Was it that one we've just done? Or was no, it something else? No, I think else? it was when you went too quickly into... Well, I'll put it as speed, but I think you said it was... Oh, the clutch. Clutch, yeah. Uh, we said it was gears, didn't we? Gears, yeah. Can you find gears? Control? Yeah, yeah. gears. in the control box. Uh, gears? That's it. Because I think it's the disengagement of the gears that makes it speed up. Yeah. It's a, it's a, it's a consequence of that. Um... Next one was manoeuvre because it was we're done gears. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about the ones we just did then while it's fresh in our mind. Yeah. It doesn't we don't have to go to town on it, it's just to give you an introduction to it and just so you understand what it is. Um, and you can take this away as well, you and study it and you can ask me any questions next time you might, that you might have on it. I approached the junction too fast. Yes, I went over the line, but that was because I approached the junction too fast. So was so that can you... one of the two boxes? No. No. 
I would always start with the the reason it happened. Yeah. So what was it? It was a junction, wasn't it? So it weren't reversing, it weren't turning, it weren't it weren't a control issue really. It was it weren't moving off, it weren't using the signals, uh, it weren't speed junctions, right. So was it observation at junctions? Was it turning right? Was it cutting corners? Oh it was approach speed, weren't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah so one in there. And then junctions, what else did I do that we talked about and we talked about why it was dangerous? Um obviously cut the corner up. Mm -hmm. So it'll be mm -hmm. Turning right, wasn't it? Cutting corners. Cutting corners. Yeah. Now, I also approached one. I also approached one, and uh, my tyres was pretty much on top of the white paint, meaning that this side of the car was hanging over definitely the door mirror and the edge of the bodywork. So. That is going to be. Um, let me just think about this actually that's either going to be positioning normal driving mm -hmm. but you're not really normal driving you are preparing to turn right so it could even it could even be junctions turning right I think it probably would be to be honest yeah uh, again I've not been trained specifically on how to mark these so there's a lot of bits a lot of bits that you probably won't understand unless you've been trained by the DVSA uh, and, I, and I appreciate that um, but yeah so if we pop that in turning right now sometimes I do mock tires so I don't always get these exactly right and uh, other driving schools love telling me about it but it's it's more than this rich it's really about this raising up a, a discussion a learning opportunity do yeah. you see what I mean yeah yeah it doesn't matter really Unless you're an examiner, you're gonna to have to get it right. But yeah, you know, absolutely. Okay. Mm. Any thoughts? Any questions on that? Um, I think that's been pretty useful, to be fair, because it's just identifying everything, isn't it? Sat here. That's mm. that's the that's what it boils down to. Um, yeah. Making sure I'm not missing anything. Yeah. Right, so you can take this away with you. Yeah. We will return to this form again as we near the part two, and we'll do some. We'll do a mock test for the mm -hmm. part two. And so we, it, you know, we, we will return to it. Is what I'm saying. Yeah. You can take that away with you. In fact, let me just um, pop some on the top there. So what? So this was. So it's just fault fault identification, really. Wasn't yeah. What we're doing. Fault ID. All right, there we go. So, what's your homework for between now and next session? Um, finding, going out and looking for faults and stuff, um, and just talking myself. Yeah, that's what I wanted you to. I wanted you to say that the himself, commentary. Yeah. Commentary, yeah. Yeah, keep tapping into that commentary because it's almost like it's getting you towards instructing. Yeah, getting yeah. them words out, getting the terminology. If you don't know the terminology, you could look in your book or you could always call me anytime. Yeah. Say, so, what would I say for this? What's this? What's that? You know. Uh, just keep making you stronger, basically. Okay. So you're gonna. You're going to look at booking the part one soon, you said? Yeah, we're going to book that on Friday. Um, so hopefully in the next four or five weeks I'll be I'll be going for that. Um, but I, I, I'm not worried about that, to be honest. Um, I think I've got it, got it covered. And if you're done, you've, you've worked through all the question banks, mm -hmm. you've been studying the answers that you get wrong in relation to the driving the essential skills? Yes. Good. And you've done a mock test. I've done a mock test. Got 98 out of 100. Wow, that's pretty good. Um, I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah. Um, but then I've been doing the um, as a perception as well. And I got. Now you're getting on with that. First couple failing, but the more I do it, the more I'm realising when to click, when yeah. was, when the fault was to, when the as it's developing yeah so I'm doing like two mock tests every night good stuff so you, you you're about right aren't you to be looking at booking it now and, yeah and I, I think I wouldn't book it unless I didn't think I was because obviously it's not 
not, not cheap either, so I want to get now, it right first time. Uh, th those who are starting this process, it's £88 for part one. 81 81 yeah, yeah, yeah. sorry about that yes thanks uh, <laughs> and it's um, £111 for part 2 and part 3 so yeah, yeah it's not something you want to uh, the mentality with some people is book it and then train I think it's completely backwards get right go to pass know that you're going to pass and just go and absolutely smash it you know mm -hmm. that's the way you want to do it um, so yeah did that did that all correlate as well when I said to you last week about on one of the clips there's two hazards and also if you're getting zero do the double click 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 yeah that's my technique doing the double click yep. click 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 because then if I've picked up like it's just I might see a hazard but I've not I've clicked it too early but mm -hmm. then that double click just makes sure I'm in it within the first two so yes. I'm at least getting four exactly yeah because when I first started doing that, I thought it was the how many it was, but it's how early you see it. So the earlier you see it, that's five. Yeah. Then the later it goes down to one. Yeah. Yeah. Good stuff. Any final thoughts or questions before we finish? We've got to set up, we've got to record what we've done today and pop that down. Or we'll do that when the camera shuts off. Any final thoughts or questions for me? No, no, I don't think so. I think it's been, it's been good. Uh, yeah. I think I've learned. A bit more. Mm, very, yeah, very much so. I'm very pleased with the progress that you've made. Um, yeah, that's full. Yeah. Okay, brilliant. So, if you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Do consider subscribing for weekly related content. Plenty more episodes to come. See you in the next video.